up, you family Marco here. Welcome back to another lesson. Today we are diving into the world of lullabies. Simple and sweet. The goal is to learn how to play the melody and the chords, but also how to add a little bit of dynamic and expression to your playing. In this lesson, I'm going to be using my super tenor ukulele. This is tuned in low G, so you have low G, C, E, and A. Of course, you can also use your tenor ukulele or even your soprano and concert. By the way guys, if you want to learn how to play the ukulele while having fun and being challenged at the same time, check ourpassionformusic.com. I'm there teaching you every single day how to play the ukulele and the guitar. You can take our daily ukulele challenge, which is an awesome way to learn new things every single day. You can take our courses. We have a fantastic community and also you get custom video feedback. So send us a video and we will reply with a custom video feedback. Meet me there at ourpassionformusic.com. Have fun playing the ukulele and the guitar. Now, let's go back to this beautiful lullaby. It's played in the key of F major. We only have four chords. F major chord. A minor. I like to play the A minor with the singing C. So first string for number three instead of this. Now B flat sus two. What an amazing chord. Three, zero, one, and zero. It's stretchy, but worth it. And then of course, uh, you know, the usual C major chord. So take a moment to practice the chords. They're super simple, but beautiful. Now we are using the finger picking technique in a six, eight time signature. So we're plucking more or less six times per measure. This is the first section. Honestly, I don't really think too much about the picking hand. Um, I like to pluck mostly with the thumb when I do the arpeggio. So for the F major, uh, we will have uh, the first note on the second string, and then fourth, third, second, fourth, and third. Such a nice arpeggio. One, two, three, four, five, six. For the A minor, we have two notes played simultaneously, fourth string and first string, two and three. Second fret and third fret. And then you go back with the playing the arpeggio. So you pluck the strings and then you have third, second, fourth, third, and second. Memorize this picking pattern because we're gonna use it for other chords. flat sus two, lovely chord. It's stretchy, three, zero, one, and three. Same picking pattern, thumb and index, third, second, fourth, third, second. For the C major chord, we play a melody. Now the melody starts on the second string for number three, so I'll strum up to the second string, zero, zero, and three. And then the melody is on for number one, for number three. One more strum covering all four strings, zero, zero, three, and zero, beautiful chord. And then the melody, second string for number three, and second open. When we put the whole thing together, I'll play it slowly. Now let's play the chord progression one more time, but with a different melody. The F major is the same. We don't change this chord. For the A minor, we have this one. So we're playing fret uh, five on the fourth string and fret seven on the first string. Same picking pattern, thumb and index, thumb, 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 thumb. 
If you want to simplify this one, you can play the third open string and just fret the uh, seventh fret on the first string. So you will do third and first, third, second, third, third, and second. It's the same thing. I just prefer this shape. It makes the finger picking pattern much easier. Now back to B sus2. And the uh, melody, C major. So the uh, B flat sus2 and the C major are the same for the first and the second section. Beautiful thing to play, I love it, but we can also add a different section, play it with a different chord progression. Let me show it to you. progression starts with the B flat major chord. Then we have C major and D minor. Now the melody here is played on the second string. So for the B flat major chord we have three, two, and one. Simple arpeggio, fourth, third, second. And then the melody on the C major is on the second string for number three, quick strum, and then one, zero. D minor, just a quick strum up to the second string. And then the melody, second string for number one, zero, and third open. Now, same chord progression, different melody, B flat major. C major with the melody on the second string for number three. First open, fret one, and F major. Just one strum, all four strings. Now first open, second string fret number three, and second open. Now back to the B flat major, C major, with the melody on three, one, three. Now F major, with the melody, so you do the strum, and then the melody is on the second string for number three, one, and B flat major again. Just two notes, fourth and third string for number three and two, second open, fret one, and G minor. Strum it twice, and then a beautiful C sus4 and C major 0 0 1 3 0 0 0 and 3 a beautiful thing to play I love it now for the solo I was using just three chords B flat add 9 um, 3 2 1 and 3 C major D minor. And I like to do this simple strumming pattern. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. So. Again. C. F major. B flat. C. F. B flat major seven, three, two, one, and zero. G minor, C sus four, and C. Now let me know if you want to learn the solo, or if you want to learn how to improvise over this backing track. Maybe we can make a video about it. It's definitely a topic for a different video. Let me know if you are interested so I can create one and we can have a lot of fun 
discovering how to play over this chord progression. Now I'm gonna leave it to practice this. Remember guys, check our passionformusic.com. Join the ukulele challenge. Have fun playing the ukulele every single day. You can learn with me, you can have custom video feedback and access to an incredible community. I'm gonna leave you to practice this, enjoy this lesson, and I'll see you next time.